virtual friends. Today is episode three. Today is cornmeal bread. Now, last time at the end of episode two, I said this was not going to be like uh, a corn, the corn bread, but I think it is. This doesn't have yeast. It's a quick bread, which I'm sure you know, just means that it's a mix and bake. So we are going to get started. And I'm going to roll the ingredients, which I've written on my blackboard behind me, right now. We're going to get started by turning the oven on to 425 degrees. This is a quick bread recipe, so we're going to put all of the dry ingredients in the bowl. We're going to mix all the wet ingredients on the side. Then we're going to work in some fat, in this case shortening, into the dry ingredients and then pull it all together with the wet ingredients. Let's get started. Oh hey, do you like my new apron? I made it just for us. It's full of jelly beans. Uh, jelly beans. Jellyfish. Uh, Self-drafted and I'm not sure, I think there's a little too much extra fabric right here but, and I forgot to put pockets on. But let's bake some bread. In a large bowl, we're going to put one cup of water. That is wrong. We're going to start with one cup of water in a measuring cup, which has enough room for us to mix more things in, and put one egg. Bloops. Oops, splashed my face. And I dropped the eggshells in. Oh my goodness. Today's, today's not going so well. And we're going to add the milk powder. So we're going to add a third of a cup of milk powder. Okay, we're going to set this aside. And in a large bowl, we're going to combine the sugar, a quarter cup of sugar, cornmeal, and it says half a cup. Now, let me pull you back out here. Last recipe, when we used the cornmeal, I only had this medium ground grind cornmeal and I think it's a little too um, large. I think what we need is a smaller ground. He does say to use stone ground but I, I think he wants a finer grind. So we are going to pull out the teeny tiny chopper and we're going to show you what I'm doing. Hang on, you need to move the camera. There we go, show you what I'm doing. And we are going to grind up a half a cup into a finer grind. So, put in a half a cup of this. And this has only two buttons on it, chop and grind. Let's push grind. I'm not sure that did anything. So while we're making messes, let's go make a real mess. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the blender. I'm not convinced that that was the best way to grind it, so we're gonna put it in a blender, which of course I have this. I have all kinds of toys to play with in the kitchen. Let's turn you down and see what happens when we do this. All right, that is much finer than it was when we started. Ooh. 
very good at making messes. Luckily, I'm good at cleaning messes. Under our giant bowl that has all of a quarter cup of sugar in it, we're going to add our half a cup of cornmeal flour. Sugar flour, no, sugar cornmeal flour. We need one and a half cups of flour. All purpose flour. One. And a half. Salt and baking powder. My salt. Need one teaspoon of salt. And then five teaspoons of baking powder. All right. hard to see. So there's the shortening and what we're going to do is we're just going to use our hands and rub it in until it looks like what we had in the beginning which was cornmeal. It feels pretty even. You can't see any lumps of shortening anymore. So before I add the liquid, I'm going to go get the, the pan ready. Be right back. All right. Now we're going to add uh, the egg and water and milk powder mix. For that, I'm just going to spray my, my pan. It's all ready now. It says, add the admixture to the flour mixture, stir with a wooden spoon until incorporated. I'm going to use the fork because it's already dirty. That looks good. Now we're going to put it in. It says, drop out into a greased 8 or 9 inch loaf pan. I have an eight and a half inch loaf pan, so. All right, let's put it in the oven. Well, as the name implies, it's a quick bread. So that was fast. Let's get it out of the oven. So that's what it looks like. Whoops, wrong way. That's what it looks like. Um, and when I poked it with a thermometer, it read exactly 200 degrees. So it didn't puff up as much as I thought it was going to. And the author says that you should, it, you know, poke it with a stick that comes out clean. And if the top springs back, the top is pretty hard. Here, let me show you. It doesn't really spring back. Um, however, that's what it looks like. All right, we'll be back in an hour or so to give it a taste. It's time for taste testing. All right, let's uh, crack into our, uh, not honey oatmeal bread. That's the next episode is honey oatmeal bread. This is cornmeal bread, which I have to smells just like cornbread. I don't think there's a difference between this and cornmeal bread. Uh, cornbread and cornmeal bread. Anyway, let's move you down. Mmm. Warm cornbread with butter. Not as sweet as some recipes. This is a little more on the savory side. 
sorry, hiccuping. But it's very, very good. You should definitely give this a try. Next time, <laughs> hiccups, we're going to make honey, honey oatmeal bread. Bye!